It's early evening in Florida. Alligator control agents Rick Kramer and Scott Patron are responding to a call from an anxious homeowner who has spotted a gator. It's in the same waterfront community where they caught another alligator three hours earlier. We're running back over here to uh, Lake Bass. We was over there earlier today and removed a seven and a half, eight foot alligator. The lady just called me if she's in fear that the alligators are going to attack her kids. And I said, not every alligator is out to, you know, to attack your kid or kill your, kill your pet. But she says, you know, every time her kids get down near the water, both them alligators come over there. So we're just going to go over there and remove it before we have a problem. The distress call was made by homeowner Tracy Hickman. One of these alligators grabbed hold of a dog the other day, hiding underneath the lily pads, waiting for an unsuspecting dog to go by and nabbed it, took it out to the middle of the lake, and then either didn't have a good grip, uh, readjusted, and the dog got away, thank goodness. I actually have a baseball bat that I have in the chain link fence, just in, just in case, you know? I'm gonna whack it if I have to. Rick has managed to hook the second alligator from the exact spot where they caught the first one just three hours earlier. Deja vu. Same game plan? Yes, sir. And I want to pull him up slow and try to get, when you hunt with two people, it's always best, I don't care if the gator's four foot, to get just two hooks in them. Because a lot of times the hook don't go in them. All right, Scott, I'm going to be quiet for a second, pull him up and get a hook in him. Rick slowly pulls the alligator toward the surface to make it easier for Scott to get a second hook into it. Hold that thought. No? <clears throat> Not hooked good. It's okay. Here. Nope. I need four. Here, I got the rock. Hold on, Scott. Rick needs to make sure he holds the gator at the very tip of its tail. An alligator can turn and bite halfway up the length of its own tail in half a second. Hold him, son. Hey, Scott. Yeah. It's going back. With Florida's waterways frequented by multiple alligators, Rick's work is never done. Sometimes we'll show up to these communities, catch the alligator, and then bam, no sooner got to the truck, get this guy in the same spot. That's why people sometimes call in, hey, you didn't catch the alligator, you ain't doing your job. Could be more than one alligator. I've uh, been bit, right through the foot. They don't have a lot of power opening, but it's all closing. Over 3,000 pounds. They got the strongest bite out of all the animals. I know I'll be calling them again, um, you know, and, and you hate that they take the animal away, but if it's him or me, it's, or my son, or our pets, or one of the other kids, it's going to be, going to be them. A lot of people, they move down from up north and they don't think they have alligators in their backyard. And that's, you know, where they're under misunderstanding. When you come to South Florida, you gotta, you, you gotta be prepared. If you have a body of water in your backyard, you're gonna have an alligator in it at some point in time. 